If you guys are looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now, make sure to check out my brand new sponsor, MMO EXP. They have the cheapest coins that you can find anywhere in the internet. Use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. What's going on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going to be going over some of the new Power Up expansion players. Now, I did not see a stream for this, but it was announced somewhere on Twitter, so I will be going over them. There are approximately, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 new players that will be going up to gold 99s. So that is cool, guys. So Power Up expansion is no longer 98s. I believe it is going up to 99s, which, guys, I've been telling you guys this for a while. If they started going to 99s in some of these cards, it would make it so much more beneficial because a lot of cards could be more useful because 98 was, like, right there, but 99 is there. So I think this is super cool. I'm going to give you guys a little quick um, update on the list. I'm going to show you guys the stats, go through everything. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on to bubble boys, come join the family. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, guys. And hopefully, you guys have been enjoying the content. You guys really enjoyed yesterday's video. Did very well, so glad it, glad it helped you guys out. Glad to give you guys some insight. But let's go check out these new power players now. Now that they are getting 99, I am super excited. Quite honestly, because these players are actually useful now. And they're very easy to get because it's training. Guys, honestly, the value of training right now is so cheap. You could really do some damage and get some pretty good players. For pretty cheap now let's see which ones we have within our binders so we can start going over some of their stats now guys if you need some cheap training it's not that hard to get right now it's like a one-to-one -one ratio if not less than one-to-one -one. training is quite honestly so cheap and the price of these cards aren't that much like training wise anyways so let's go to power up cards and let's go check this out so let's scroll down i probably got a lot of these in my binder as it is so first on the list is michael irvin so michael irvin i do have in the binder so let's go check him out now, let's see you can go all the way up to 99 overall now i believe like to get this last two it's gonna cost you like 60 67k just about but the thing you have to remember 67k it's less than one coin per probably gonna cost you about 60,000 coins worth of training so 60,000 coins to get a card at 99 really isn't that bad now 96 speed for urban is solid because that does move in sprinter and john madden he gets 99 so you're done with that so as far as that goes he's solid he has a good stiff arm a good spin move a good juke move could potentially get a juke ability we have to really see Great beat press, great catch and traffic, great route running, great break tackle, great spec catch. This is a really, really solid wide receiver, guys. Michael Irvin is really, really good. Highly recommend him as one of them. These are actually one of the better ones. That's what I'm saying. Like, they're actually going to start dropping some good cards. So, makes these power-up expansions a lot more viable. They're quite honestly a lot more interesting. Because prior to this, they weren't as interesting. Now, 96 speed, 90, 96 excel, like I said, that can get up a sprinter. Agility is great. Carrying is pretty good, actually, guys. He's a great after the catch receiver. He's kind of like if you took like Calvin's catching and route running and put them together with like Tyree kills after the catch ability, but actually maybe even more. Kind of like what Des Bryant card used to be. This card can really do a lot after the catch. Obviously not the best run block, but that's not what you're using them for. So in my opinion, Michael Evans one of the best ones I've probably seen up to date. Now let's see. There is five more. Let's see what I got in my binder though first before I go start buying some of these. So let's move on down. None of these none of these guys i've had a lot of i've had a lot of power-ups this year and i've just always held on to them let's see let's see let's see we got larry little is kind of what i'm looking for here he's one of the next ones but i want to see if i can find one of the other guys in the list because that would be oop, right here shannon sharp's another one which is actually cool guys i've been wanting a new 99 tight end so shannon sharp does get a 99 tight end so there we go 88 strength is super solid 89 agility is decent 91 speed is good so that does mean with john madden and sprinter he gets 94 speed which is a really good tight end speed 95 catching is great uh pass blocking is actually pretty decent despite run blocking is pretty decent not amazing trucking is good stiff arm is great juke and spin are kind of low but that's fine because it's a tight end honestly the run blocking is okay it's not horrible 83 pass block finesse 81 pass block power not bad so let's get to the stamina 98 that's good 93 spec catch is a little bit low 97 catch and traffic is really good 93 medium right running is amazing 92 me a b press is really good lead blocks low 82 break tackles okay 92 short running is okay deep right running 85 now in my opinion guys not my favorite uh, of these so far because his route running i mean for 99 cars route running is not it's probably like mid 95s his catch should be a little better his run block should be a little better i know he's a very well-rounded though i will give you that he's athletic but I think I'd probably rather go Alvin Gentry at this juncture. I mean, he's a little worse of a run blocker, but he can do a lot more at the tight end spot. He's kind of, he, he's like too well-rounded for my liking personally, but obviously there's many, many benefits to all of this. Now let's move on to see what else we got, because there is plenty more here. There's about four more. So let's keep moving on down. Wow, I got a lot of Ezekiel Elliott's. I forgot about all these investments I made that power up started dying down. And quite honestly, I just never really got around to selling them again. Really lost track of time here. Wow, I got a lot of power-ups. Um, nope. Where do we got? Where do we got? What do we got? 
Guys, these are giving me so much throwbacks right now to all the cards that I picked up or pulled that I, I like literally remember them. So now let's head over to the auction block. I'm going to go pick up a few of the other ones show you guys the stats. Guys, yeah, so I got John Henderson and Larry Little, which are two of the other ones. Now, there are two more, but they're way too expensive, so I will show you guys those on Mudhead. Let's move all the way down. John Henderson, 99 overall offensive tackle. If you guys remember, he was a legend card and I believe a theme diamond card right there. So going all the way to the top, 99 overall offensive tackle. So 99 strength, solid. 69 speed, honestly super low. Not a fan of that. So that 96 tackle, that's good. 97 impact blocking is amazing. 95 power moves, pretty good. Again, if you have him with John Madden and you have pass rush on him, you can get that up to close to 99, so that's not horrible. Finesse moves low, but that's not what you ever expect from a tackle. He will get 99 uh, block shot on my team, which is super solid. 89 pursuit's good. 94 hit power. Here's the thing, guys. If you happen to have him and you want to just toss him and power him up to make him even better, that's a great idea. If you happen to have him as like a 93 and you can get him all the way to 99, that's solid. That's a good value. But if you're going to go out of your way, I don't think I'd go out of my way to pick him up over other defensive tackles because power move isn't that it's low or his block shot is low but he's just so slow even if he gets past them he's going to be really really slow with everyone having 99 speed and human joystick you quite literally can run around this guy i don't think that'd be my uh my move in terms of defensive tackle unless like i said if you have him that's just a great it's a great value i understand that but if you do i wouldn't go out of your way to add him to the squad let's see larry little his last card was a legend card well wow, he's got quite a way to go so this is 92 is his last card i believe and yeah 99 cards so let's see 94 strength, that's that's solid, not amazing, but solid. 78 speed, 86 excel is good. Pass block is a 96, run block's 98. Impact block's 95, 95 run block power. 98 run block finesse, 95 run block power. Pass block finesse is really good. 98 lead block. So, you put a zone run on this guy, you can probably get his run block almost maxed out. And then if you have John Madden passing, get that up a little bit too. Guys, this is a phenomenal lineman. I think Larry Little is actually one of the better ones. So far out of all these, my favorite two are Michael Irvin and Larry Little. Obviously, we still got Nick Bosa and Roby Coleman left, but... I think so far, Michael Irvin's my favorite. Larry Little's my second favorite. Shannon Sharp and Henderson probably somewhere near the bottom. But it really depends on Roby and Coleman's stats. We gotta go check those out. Larry Little's phenomenal. Remember, guys, these guys get abilities. They get everything. So, could be super, super good. I wish the lineman got a little bit more abilities. But obviously, a lot of them are repetitive. So, how much more could really help? It really just depends on the lineman and what they got you know, available to them. But, guys, let's go check out the other ones over on Mudhead. Guys, the prices actually went down quite a bit. They were just all like 20, 30K. I went back. They're like 7K. Might as well pick them up for the channel. Show you guys what we got going on so let's head over to the item binder once again and let's go see what we're working with here so personally guys i think nick bosa could be pretty decent now his stats have sucked all year so i'm really hoping if there was ever a chance to fix him up it would be this this is kind of what i'm hoping for personally because nick bosa's cards have sucked all year there's not been one good one even his mud uh mud awards whatever it is uh was it damn nfl honors that one sucks 99 joe joe bosa nick bosa sorry. so he's got 89 strength that's decent not great. 91 agility, that's good. 84, 84 speed, 96 Excel is great. Overall, you can get a speed that's like an 87. His Excel can get up close to like a 99. 92 awareness is decent. 95 tackle is good. 86 jumping is good. Impact block, 95 is good. Power move, 98 is good, but finesse move is 98, so that's fine. So his finesse move is going to get to 99. His impact blocking is great. His block shedding is actually better than usual. 95 pursuit, 92 play rec, 96 hit power. Now, here's my consensus thoughts on this again. If you have him, he is a worthwhile upgrade. That's my opinion. But if you do not have him, I would not go out of my way to get him. Now, that is specifically because of this. Aaron Donald, let's go back to, isn't as athletic, right? But he has 99 power move and 99 finesse move, and he will get close to 99 block shit. I, at this point in the game, I want an end that can play the run as well as anyone else in the field, while also being able to pass rush anyone else in the field. Now, he's a little bit slow in strength. Sorry, not slow, slow, but like, he's a little bit low in strength, which is not great. I want someone a little bit stronger. His tackle is good. His impact, like everything looks like just a regular 96, 95 overall card when he's a 99. I believe that I mean, maybe his abilities are glitchy, his speed's great and all, but I mean, maybe he plays well. But based on the stats alone, I do think he's a little lackluster in block shed, which is a really important, especially right now when everyone just runs anyways. So I probably won't be taking a Nick Bosa so far. And don't get me wrong, I'd probably take him over Shannon Sharp or the other guy, just specifically because of the reasoning that uh, John Henderson is a little bit way too slow, Shannon Sharp just all around. So Bose is probably somewhere around like four right now. It all depends on Roby Coleman and where he stands before I can make my overall, you know, consensus decisions here in my rankings. But let's check out Nicky Roby Coleman, Nickel Roby Coleman, sorry. And let's go check him out. Okay, so let's go over to 99. Now this was a weird one. He probably hasn't gotten a card since what? Yeah, Christmas, the zero chill promo. Okay, so let's see, 95 agility, that's good. 94 speed's a little bit low. So he can get with John Madden and Sprinter, 97. 
which will get the job done. But again, I, at this point, I feel like every card, like every cornerback should be 99 speed. Now, if you're on a Rams theme team or another theme team he's been on, that's fine. But for the general, 94 speed is a little bit low. 99 jumping is amazing. 79 catching is okay. Can't really do much with the ball once he catches it. 95 man, 99 zone, and three press. So he can get up to a 99 zone, a 99 zone, I mean, and 99 man. And his press can get up to about a 96. So in my opinion, again, like a 99 corner at this point in the year, I think should have slightly better press, slightly better after the catch stats, and in my opinion, at least a 95 to 96 speed. So in my opinion, Nick, no, Nick Roby Coleman really isn't that great. I probably wouldn't go him either. Again, like I said, if you guys happen to have these cards powered up, it is a great value to get another 99 cornerback on your team for this value. But would I go ahead and make the whole chain? Again, that could still be a good value. I personally wouldn't make him a starter, but like I said, if you have him and you're just sitting there, power him up and just take advantage of having an extra 99 guy there if you really want to or for overall purposes. But again, not a guy for me. Now to rank him, guys, in my opinion, coming in at last, it's probably going to be, ooh, this is tough. I think for me, it'd be Roby Coleman, because I am not going to use a 94 speed cornerback over what I got and my physicality with Dion, Champ, uh, Night Train Lane, Jalen Ramsey. I just don't see it happening. Coming at last, next going to be John Henderson. Now, John Henderson, his block shed was good. His power moves were good, but he's way too slow. Like, I can already see Bo Jackson just running around him. I can already see it. So, probably going to be uh, Roby Coleman last, and John Henderson the second to last. J Shannon Sharp coming in at number four. He just was too well around. It wasn't like the fastest, wasn't the best catch, wasn't the best route run. He was decent at everything, but that was about it. Then we got coming in at number three, probably Nick Bosa. Like, he wasn't horrible. He's super fast, but that's not really my way. And then he's going to go Larry Little, great lineman, and then Michael Irvin coming number one, guys. And that's about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy today's video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And if you haven't already, like this video. Give it a big thumbs up, guys. And if you need coins for any of these new power-up cards, make sure to hit up my sponsor. People have been asking, are they legit? Yes, a lot of people have been buying from them. They cannot believe how cheap the prices are. I understand. They're crazy good. That's why I recommend you go pick up. You can really end the year off Ricky Premieres and all on those coins. But that's about it. Use code Poodle. I'm out. Peace.